Today marks the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon launch, and that has us checking some of South Dakota's connections to space missions. Scotland native Chuck Gamar is the first astronaut born in the state. Gamar flew on three space shuttle missions in the 90s, and Kelloland TV was there. Matt Holson takes us back in time. Chuck Gamar was selected for the astronaut program in 1985. The helicopter pilot who graduated from West Point was excited about the opportunity. And I always thought that, you know, there's not a chance in the world that something like that could ever happen to, to somebody from certainly Scotland, South Dakota. His first mission took place in November of 1990 as part of the crew of Space Shuttle Atlantis. South Dakota is making history tonight with the takeoff of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. Kelloland, Kelloland TV had a crew at the Kennedy Space Center for the event. Reporter Jessica Armstrong spent the week with Gamar's family before the launch. We'll probably both be freaking out when the shuttle lifts up. There'll be tears probably more than, you know, anything. The family and Armstrong had a front row seat for liftoff. It was a beautiful sight. The ground shook, the, the sky lit up almost as though it were daylight as the, as the shuttle lifted. It was beautiful. Gamar and Atlantis would return to Earth a few days later to cheers at the Kennedy Space Center. Nose gear touchdown. Crew of Atlantis brings their spacecraft to its point of origination at the Kennedy Space Center shuttle landing facility. Gamar didn't stop there. His NASA career took him back to space in 1991 and 1994. This is what he had to say to students at a local camp in Brookings in 1993. But I tell you, keep your focus. Don't be afraid to, to dedicate the time and the resources that it takes to do a job and do it well. Gamar retired from NASA in 1998, but he'll always be remembered for putting South Dakota on the map from outer space. Don't let anybody close any doors. You know, continue to knock on the doors. Don't stop at the first closed door. And touch Matt Holson, Kendall Land News. We have main Gamar logged more than 500 hours in space during his NASA career.